here. Value another one. This time we got. What happened to? Oh, what happened to GTA characters after you beat the game? To 2001 to 2022. Make sure y'all like the video, comment, subscribe, and let's see what's going on. This is by. Them, them most. GTA. Nope. That's dyslexia. <laughs> the most guh. Yeah, it's by him. I don't know how to say that. Or her. It's them. They're right there. They're right there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what's next? We should hit the casinos, roll some dice for Woo. Nah, we gotta take care of shit here first. Yeah, I am. Over there. Uh, I'll tell. Carl! After all, she's in such a lot of saying fitting in the block. See what's happening. Carl swole. Is that you again? We all good? Yeah, we're good. All right, we'll see you at the back door. Let's roll. I should probably read these out loud. Mission called Breaking the Bank at, what is that, Kalga's, which can be completed after you finish the storyline. Leading some players to believe that this is the true final mission in GTA San Andreas. Hey, I'm cool. Are you sure? You sound kind of edgy to me. This isn't true since the mission can also be completed much earlier since the mission can be skipped if you didn't go out of your way to activate it. Many players just skipped it since they didn't know that the mission even existed. I'm cool, okay? Okay, okay. Now make your way to the staff door. I've unloaded the police bikes. The reason the reason I'm mentioning this mission on a phone call with CJ received after completing the mission. Owner of a casino is Mr. Salvatore Very famous character from GTA 3 and Vice. I'm assuming Vice City. Upon completing the heist, CJ will get a call from Mr. Leon and express his displeasement with CJ's actions. Nice to hear from you too. You're dead. Your friends are dead. Your family's dead. I'm gonna f you up and your children and your grandchildren. Damn. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I got some money that needs spending on some expensive trash. So if you excuse me. You're dead. Dead. This is the last we hear from Mr. Leon in GTA San Andreas. Mob leaders don't take too kindly to traitors, so it's possible CJ became a target for the Mafia. There's something real interesting. Wasn't there another game after San Andreas? Or am I tripping? Years after GTA San Andreas, uh, LCS came out. Our main character in that game is Tony. He returned to Liberty City after having his family kill an important gangster, enemy of the Alone family. There is some speculation that the gangster he killed was well CJ. Okay, makes sense. Theory is plausible considering the time pat uh, time period takes place in GTA San Andreas takes uh, takes wait okay the time period the game takes place GTA San Andreas takes place in 1992 and LCS in 1998. Sorry, we keep hearing a doo doo. That's my phone disconnecting and reconnecting. Wait, wait, wait. It's possible that Tony killed CJ and went to exile. We know the information from the text written on the Spanish cover of GTA LCS. I want you to take it easy for a while, huh? Vincenzo will look after you. You need some money? The problem with the theory comes when we go and read English cover of the game, which reads, After Killing a Made Man. You need a job? Lucky will take care. Don't believe CJ was made by any mafia family. Making the theory much less plausible is definitely a fun one. Next possible theory, what happens to CJ from GTA 5. One of the missions, Franklin and Lamar discuss what happened to old Grove Street family OGs. Franklin remarks that he could be either dead or living as CEOs. Water Blight be the second option. At the end of San Andreas, CJ had many business connections and established contacts with rich, influential people. Soccer moms, kids, coaching little league football 
Also, he expressed this interest of gangster lifestyle, and that's kind of moved away from all of this. As we already know, Grove Street is controlled by ballers in GTA 5. So that, <laughs> I have to look at that. So that, uh, so the thing that Franklin said about being dead could be true. But I think the second theory Franklin said is much more plausible. Okay. Nico Bellic, the one I really care about. Let's go to GTA 5 and see the billboard where the character in the suit looks like similar to CJ. Well, could be. That wouldn't make sense. In the bathroom of Michael's house, we can also find a toothpaste brand called CJ's Toothpaste. Okay. <laughs> CJ's Toothpaste. That would be such a reach, though. The San Andreas who points in the direction of CJ becoming successful. successful. It's also a funny theory. CJ got busted after stealing a jetpack from Area 69. In theory, makes sense. He stole a secret military project worth $60 million. Makes sense the government would be after him. Tommy Versetti. Okay. Isn't Tommy dead? Isn't that what I got out of this? End of Vice City. Tommy eliminates all of his enemies, basically removing all the competition. Tommy puts Tommy. in a really good position, economic vibe. Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? I don't even know what that word said. He what can express, like? expand his business influence like even suit, further man, Tommy, now. That was a beautiful suit. Tommy, ah, yes. Tommy Brissetti, please. First we hear from Tommy after the events of Vice City, which takes place in 1986. This is G GTA San Andreas introduced movie, which takes place in 1992. Ken Rosenberg called. Ken Rosenberg, you haven't heard of me? Who are you? Ken Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, Ken Rosenberg attempts to get uh, Tommy a link, but Tommy doesn't seem interested. You my calls? Look, I made that ingrate, and now he won't take my calls? Just... Tells us Tommy's still alive in 1992, probably still running his business. Put him business. on the phone right now. Hello? Hello? Damn it. 2002 made a website called... Rockstar made a website called... That... Which dedicated to remember the 80s in Vice City. Author is Kent Paul and explains all of his problems which happened to him during the 80s in Vice City. And at the end of the article, he writes to see Tom. I don't. I didn't mention your name. Nowhere. Maybe you won't get us killed now. Okay. You play that Tommy's still alive by 2002. Okay. So yeah, Mr. Versetti is still alive and well in 2002, but if we assume nothing happened to him mean, in the meantime, we have no reason to believe that something still happened, something happened to him would still be alive today, although much older than when we last saw him. Bro, this is a lot of talking. I need some water. Goodness, this is a lot of talking. Uh, I need something to drink. Ugh. Dang, bro. Man, a commentary on this video would have been much better. Instead of a text. Ah, it literally hurts my throat. I was, I felt like my throat started bleeding. Mr. Moot is an interesting one. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire was exchanged. Out of all the characters, he is the one with little to no information out there. So we can skip him, right? Because my throat hurt. I really just care about Nico, honestly, and then GTA 5 characters. Appears in GTA San Andreas, okay. Isn't a helpful answering what happened to him after GTA 3. I mean that I love What the fuck? Leave my car alone. I did this for us. It becomes a really fun thing. Character in GTA Cult. Two called Claude Speed. Now, the, okay, bro. <laughs> I, I don't even care about. I hope y'all can see y'all can read this. Looks like they actually might be the same person. Rockstar said and asked by a fan some information called Claude.
Okay, okay. Next character. Nico! Pretty sure he's dead. What the fuck did she ever do to you? After killing Pegarino in an attempt to avenge his girlfriend, Kate. Nico's having a really hard time. She was something actually, someone he actually really liked. She was gone way too soon. There were many references to Nito, Nico and GTA 5, which all suggests after being heartbroken after GTA 5 moved to the quiet countryside of Los Santos. There's an abandoned house in the countryside where many players believe to be Nico's house. Why? There's a wanted poster of Nico's face on it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, uh, so wait, suggesting that Nico became a target for some reason after the events of GTA 5. Wanted assault. It's a Liberty City poster, too. Caucasian, 200 pounds, brown eyes. So it says 26 to 32, 511, 62. Black haircut, short, medium, sucks if wanted for questioning. Connection with shooting of a nightclub at the Hove Beach Arena and Broker. Incident is believed to be gang related. Witnesses reported hearing an Eastern European accent, which narrows it down to about 95% of the Hove Beach community. Even we can't arrest that many foreigners. Time to turn his dream into a nightmare. Shoot on blank. Email us with any information. Liberty said, police, police department. I wonder if that phone number actually works. I'm not going to call it because I don't care enough, but. Next up, we have Nico's jacket, which can be seen outside bars in Los Santos. I mean, Nico's at one point here. Perhaps some people were after him since he seemed to be a wanted man in GTA 5. Picture of Nico driving a tow truck in the same bar. Possible that the fact that Nico's bar took a uh, took a look at this. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat. Could it possibly mean that Nico decided to get his own bar after the events of GTA 5 and the owner of it now? Although the place doesn't seem to be much classy. Things get weird. If you do go a little further. Bloody footsteps we see my pool table, dang. People just chilling like that? Could mean this bar fight happened, which is common in these sorts of places. Okay, true. Nico participating in this blood, we don't know. Was there also an interesting quote from Lester talking with Michael? That's the only, that's the one everybody heard. Who played GTA 4? He died and moved away from a crime life. Decided to move away from it all, live alone in my life. I think he's dead, honestly. I, I think he's dead. But that would be cool if he's not. Franklin, okay. Actually, don't need speculation. We're having a Franklin rock star to this for us. Now me? Shoot, I'm a hustler. Oh, GT. <laughs> GTA Online, yeah. Wife might be screwing a tennis coach. <laughs> Franklin may have, may have been the main character in the contract DLC, but Rockstar also gives an answer to the other Grand Theft Auto 5 protagonist. Man, shit, I know one of the producers around here. I hope his ass ain't at work today. Looks like Michael is still alive and well producing movies. Okay. Hey, this crazy dude swung by earlier, dressed like a hobo, like really on edge. He swore him and Mr. Clinton used to work together. He got really angry when I said he wasn't available. Hmm. I stopped him from shitting on the desk. Seriously. If you get a minute with Mr. Clinton, would you let him know? 
Looks like Trevor could have been he to be Trevor. Yeah, it makes sense. Nice to know that he's still alive. They st all stayed in contact. Kind of stayed in contact. All right, that was that was interesting. That was interesting. What do these comments talk about? And Lester says he went quiet. I think he refers to Nico being alive and gave up on the time of life. Definitely considered him as a very damn good at what he do. Lester wouldn't even reference him if he was dead. There'd be no rep. That's true. That's very true. He wouldn't even waste his time even thinking about him. He'd be like, oh wait, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Not mistaken for a bank heist in GTA 5, you can pursue Packy from GTA 5. He mentions Nico. That's true. Correct. Packy, the mission, the Pluto score. He'll mention the events of the mission. Three Leaf Clover. He'll mention how Michael, not the GTA 5 Michael, died. The thing that Derek, that he'll say that Derek is dead because of death. Not mentioning. Uh, mentioning. He will later mention Nico and will say that he does not. Doesn't know if he's dead or alive. Okay, uh, that's enough reading for now. My voice hurts, so I'm out of here. Hope y'all enjoy. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Bye.